This is an island and I'm all alone on it with some dolphins and also some fish, maybe a squid. Ah, squid. It looks like we have ourselves a little tent right here and it just has some saplings, a pumpkin seed and a fishing rod. Oh, and there's also another little island right there, but it's not too big either. Ooh, melons. Don't mind if I take these and also some bamboo. Give me all of it. Yeah, we seem to be pretty lonely out here. There's no other island even remotely close to here. Oh, and some sugar cane. Even more right there that I walked right by. Huh? Let's take a second to assess the situation. I'm on an island. I don't know how I got here. There's a small island next door with more bamboo and we're already halfway through our first day. First things first, let's harvest some of this wood. Well, this whole tree. So then we can make a crafting table, some sticks and a pickaxe so we can see if there's any ores down below us. Oh, we got stone. That's a good start, but I'd like coal so I can make some torches. So no mob spawn on the island tonight. Okay, it's pretty dark down here. Maybe I'll dig out in this direction. Well, there's copper, so at least there's resources down here. I'm gonna really need that coal though, because it's uh, kind of dark. One pickaxe later, and we have found some coal. So now I can make some torches, which are much needed. Okay, much better. Can I collect the copper? No, you need a stone pickaxe. How's the sun looking? Uh, not good. Well, I can make one stone pickaxe now. I can also make a sword. And then hopefully we can find a little bit more coal before the sun goes down. Because this seemed like a pretty small pack. Just dig off in this direction. Get rid of that torch and we can place it down right there. Collecting the cobblestone isn't horrible because I'm sure we're going to need it at some point. And now we're starting to hit sand and I think there might be water above it. No, no water. I'm going to go. Oh, coal. More coal. And I see. Oh yeah, it's becoming nighttime. Grab some of this real quick. That should be enough craft all of this into torches and then go nuts placing torches around the island. I'm not going to worry about the other one for now because maybe if like a spider spawns over there, we can start making a bed. Well, we're going to need more than one spider, but you know what I mean. Oh, yep. There's a creeper. That is not what I wanted. And a zombie and another creeper. I'm just gonna stay away from that and just go mine some more. 13 coal should be enough and a lot more mobs have spawned over there, including a parrot. Next up, I wanna figure out the food situation because I have these seven melon slices, but I don't wanna eat them all because then we can't make melon seeds and then grow more melon. So maybe if we're lucky, we can get a seed from some of this grass. Oh, we got a seed, perfect. And then now I can make myself a stone hoe, take a piece of this dirt, turn it into farmland and then place the seed down. And maybe we might get wheat pretty soon. Hopefully, please. Maybe? Oh, buddy, what are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Why are you on land? You're supposed to be in the water. They are coming from every direction. Oh my goodness, there's more. There's more. I can't even run. Oh my goodness, I got hit by that thing and it did a lot of damage. Okay, I have an idea. Maybe I can just hide up here. Oh my goodness, this might not go well. It's gonna hide right there and also eat some food. After a stressful night of sitting with one heart, I think I'm ready to take on day two. I say think because that uh, drown could be sitting right below me and I'd never know. But we're just gonna have to take a chance here and hope he's not. Okay, there's one right there. Can I fish from up here or am I too high? Oh, I think I can fish. I just need like one, maybe two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Oh, we got a fish. I just gotta eat it. I don't know how much food it gives you when it's raw. Oh my goodness, I can make a furnace up here. Okay, let's do this again. Up here comes another fish and we got leather. Why game? Why? And we got another fish. I'm gonna go for one more. That was mighty close. All right, now we got two fish. So if I can take a piece of wood, make another crafting table, make one furnace, and then smelt these two fish up. And now I can hopefully regenerate all my health. Break all of this stuff. Because come on, we don't want our island looking like a mess. Yeah, I think the coast is clear. And I'm gonna do a little bit more fishing. Oh, that's good with the trident. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm just gonna keep fishing from up in the tree because the drown can't really get me from up here. Well, sort of, the one with the trident can. Fishing's taking too long and I'm getting way too many tropical fish. So I'm just gonna go for these guys. Yeah, this is so much quicker. Just wanna move quickly. Oh, you know, I could also eat dried kelp. I wanna make sure I have plenty of food because I'm gonna spend my nights down in the mines and I don't think five cooked cod is gonna be enough. Oh yeah, and one salmon. Hopefully 12 should be enough and we're gonna take down another one of these trees. Well, the sun is going down and my food is cooking up. So hopefully we should be a little bit more prepared for nighttime too, hopefully. Can you cook any faster, please? You know, 12 is good enough. I'm gonna block this off and, and head down here. Okay, that was a little dark. Some torches, please. And I think I'm just gonna continue this stairway going down because maybe we might be able to get some iron. Well, my pickaxe broke. So placing my crafting table down, making some planks, then crafting some sticks, I made another pickaxe and got back to it.
Ooh, more iron. And it was just one piece. Well, that's a lot of mobs. I do want to go get the spiders because the more string we can get, the quicker we can make a bet before the phantoms start to spawn in. And now we're on to day three. Oh my goodness, there's a chicken out in the water. This needs to hurry up and grow. Uh, I need another seed. Get me another seed. Got another seed. Okay. Now I just need to make a little bit of fences. Nine jungle fences should be plenty enough. And then I just need to lure this guy in without getting hit by a trident. Just follow me, buddy. Wow, you are really slow. All right, there's a drowned right here. Gotta take him out real quick. And then back to getting this guy. Oh, not another drowned. Get him out of the way for now. Almost there. You're so close. And he's on land. Okay, let me build this little pen real quick. Over here. Nope, 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 nope. I don't know where you think you're going. There. And then I can just kind of push you into here and then block it off. We have a chicken. We have a chicken. <laughs> we shall name him Greg. I'm gonna give him a seed, but you have no one to breed with. Now that it's day three, it's time to start thinking long-term. Oh, perfect timing. It just has to rain right now. Thanks game, thanks. Oh, the Enderman doesn't like it. I can hear him bouncing around. Oh, he just died right here. Oh, and there's an Ender Pearl. We can almost go to the end. Well, no, not really. What do I need to tame you? Is it just the seed? Can I maybe get another seed from some of this grass? Ooh, we got another seed. Is this what you eat? Oh, uh, no, what? You don't like me? Okay, one more seed, another try. Why? And I officially just harvested all the tall grass on our island. Oh, besides this one and that one. Okay. Now I think that's it. I'm all out of wood, so I'm gonna harvest another tree. And then make three more pickaxes and an ax. And I'm also gonna place all of my sugar cane down because we have pumpkin seeds. Yeah, we do. We have a chicken that will hopefully lay eggs. And then if we can get some sugar, then we can make pumpkin pies. And the sun's going down again. Wow, that was a uh, quick day. So back into the mines we go. I'm just gonna continue this staircase all the way down to deep slate, if there is any deep slate. Mining down was pretty successful. I was able to get loads of iron. And after some brutal mining with my stone pickaxe, I was finally able to make it down to deep slate. And I also found some redstone, but I can't mine it. But I didn't make it very far because it's now day four. And I don't want to waste a drop of sunlight because today we're going to be much more productive. But first, where did our chicken go? Not Greg. Rest in peace, Greg the chicken. The island is a bit of a mess, so let's do something about it. I think that clearing out all the trees will give us a little bit more space to work. Although the island does look quite bland now. And then I also want to expand our wheat farm by- wait, we got one seed from that? Are, did we not- oh, I thought that was fully grown in. Well, I guess it wasn't. Well, there's a pig over here on the small island, but I can't really do anything with them because I don't have carrots and there isn't another pig. Yep, I just did that. The next thing I want to do is actually build a spawning platform for some mobs just right out in that area because the goal is to get as many spiders as possible and hopefully if we get enough string we can then make a bed oh no the sun's going down i gotta move quickly I was able to get it constructed, but it's not very big. So maybe we can get a few spiders on there. Although time to go down into the mines. I quickly ran into more iron and then I realized I can now make iron tools. So crafting a furnace, throwing my coal and iron inside, waiting for it to smelt up and then crafting an iron pickaxe. Finally, we have iron tools. Let's get back to mining though. Oh shoot, I let way too much time pass. It's now daytime again. Well, on to day five we go. Is there any mobs over here? Okay, there is nothing. That is not what I wanted to see. So I'm gonna need to find a better solution, which I think is just to build a full-blown mob farm, which I should have the blocks to do so. Maybe. Check this chest down here. Okay, I got a decent amount. I don't think that's enough though. Although I can get started with it. So I'm gonna build it over here. So it doesn't take up any space on our island. Make sure there's no creepers on here. No, there is not. And and then I'm just gonna build out a few blocks. Well, more than a few. That should be good. You know, I can build this out of cobblestone, but it's gonna look horrible. So instead, I'm gonna build it out of jungle wood. The first thing I need to do is build a ring, and then I'm gonna use slabs going all the way up to the actual spawning platform. A little bit like that. But you know, I'm gonna raise it up another block so it's not sitting directly on the water. Much better. Although, how has this much day already gone by? I mean, really, that's all I got done. Well, I'm just gonna have to work quickly. And that's how much I got done. Now, my goal for tonight is to try and get enough gold to make a clock. And and you might be wondering, why do I need to make a clock? And that's so I can check the time from down in the mines, so I don't waste any more daylight. And our first lapis of this world. 
but no luck with any gold. And now it's time for day six. Day six consisted with me building up the tower for the mob farm and then realizing I didn't like how it looked. So I tore the whole thing down. Am I being too picky for Survival Island? Maybe, but if I'm gonna build it, I wanna build it right. Nighttime 6 consisted of me looking for more gold, which I did end up finding. Let's just hope there's four. We have one, two, three. Did we really get three? We're missing one. Typical. No way, there's another chicken. Oh my goodness, I threw an egg and we got a baby chicken. On to day 7. Waking up with a plan of what to do made the days go by so much quicker. During the day, I would work on the mob farm, and then during the night, I would look for some gold and other goodies if I could find them. I finally found more gold, which means if I smelt it and then collect it, I can now make myself a clock. And it's the middle of the night. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. What has it been, like three, four nights of mining now? Well, it's not over with, because I still want diamonds. I also have enough iron to start making full iron tools, like a shovel and a sword, because I already have the axe and the pickaxe. I can also make some iron armor. Well, actually, a full set. I kept hearing a baby zombie, so hopefully he's not here anymore. Okay, there's a creeper. Take care of this guy. Nothing else is behind me. No. That is terrifying. A baby drown with a trident. I'm gonna stay away from that guy, because, um, yeah. First things first, I need to get that farm done, because it's now day eight. So let's jump on into it. Wait a second, I forgot that we have two chickens on the other island. And I also have some iron and some wood. So if I make a chest and then another chest, a hopper, and then where'd I put my seeds? Right there, perfect. So now I can make a little contraption with a chest right there, a hopper right there, two fences right there, and a jungle fence right there. Okay, perfect. Now we just gotta get both of these chickens. One's right here, and I just need to push them in to this thing. No, 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 don't walk out of there. Slowly but surely. And I'm not gonna breed you guys just yet. I'll do this instead. Aw, no more chickens. Oh my goodness, baby, baby, baby trident thing after me. That came out of nowhere. I'm gonna take a second for my anxiety to come down. Once my anxiety went down, I spent the rest of night eight looking for more iron. I didn't get any more iron, but I did get a little bit more coal and copper and some lapis. Let's see if it's daytime yet. And yes, it is. My only goal going into day nine was to finish up this mob farm. Since it's now taken us like three, maybe four days, all I had left to do was to build the spawning platform and also build some walls and a ceiling. I sadly crafted way too many trap doors and wasted a bunch of wood, which is kind of sad, but we'll get it back. I'm hoping that the mobs will be dumb enough to make their way into the water streams and then fall down to the kill chamber, where they're not gonna be one hit, but they're gonna be pretty close to it. I'm pushing it, but I am determined to get this thing done before the sun goes down. Oh, I'm gonna be so close on blocks. Oh, I got wood, perfect. Oh, no, that's sand. Don't want to use that. All right, let me get down from here. Hopefully by the time we wake up in the morning, there is some mobs down here. Hopefully. I got to get underground though, because those phantoms are going to spawn any minute. Night 10 consisted of more mining for iron. And really, after an entire night of mining, I only managed to get six more iron. Come on, game. Hopefully some mobs spawned over there. And yes, they did. It looks like we have a bunch of stuff. Oh, and there's a spider right there. If we could get a bed, that would be game changing. Also, does anyone else think this is a funny animation? That might just be me. Ooh, we got two string. That's a good start. Do we have any eggs? Oh yeah, we're up to 10 eggs. Thanks, guys. Now, is the creeper going to explode if I get too close? I don't think so. Oh my goodness, there is so many mobs. They just keep falling. Ooh, but I can't really reach them. Maybe I need to come around like this. Okay, now I can reach these guys. Oh, that guy almost exploded. That guy almost exploded. Okay, so I have to be really careful because if I walk to the corner and they see me, they're gonna try to explode. I just don't have a good way to get all the loot. Oh, wait a second. I have an idea. Idea. If I grab the fishing rod and do some fishing. No, 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 no fishing. First, I got to take all these creepers out and there's like seven of them. Oh, there's a carrot. I need that. I need that. How do I get that? The mobs just keep on falling. How do I get that carrot? Maybe if I take a slab and go like this. By the way, my fishing rod idea did not work. But get rid of these two blocks and then get rid of this block. Add a slab right there. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I fell in the water, but I think I got it. Okay, that's how they see me. That's how they see me. Okay, I don't think the fishing rod can get in there. I already tried. No, it can't. And there's string right behind that rotten flesh. Right there. Okay, I need some blocks real quick because I think I'm actually going to close the mob farm off for a second. That should do it. Turn that into planks. And I just need to close 
it off. Okay, that's, I gotta be careful. Continue to do that. Okay, the whole thing should be closed off. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Did we get enough string? Yes, we have enough string. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because we can make a bed. Wait, now I gotta turn this into wool and now we can make a bed. We have done it, guys. We have a bed. You have no idea how long I've been wanting that. Also, when I got the carrot, it made me realize I haven't checked on the wheat in a while. And yeah, two of them are fully grown. So I'm gonna grab some dirt real quick. Yep, 11 dirt and also my stone hoe and place these four new seeds in. You're so close, buddy. Now that we have the bed, I don't have to worry about wasting a single minute during the day. With that being said, I'm going to clean up the island a little bit more by chopping these trees down and then start to come up with a plan of what I want to do for our house and farms. First night sleeping in the bed. Yes. Yes, I did have sweet dreams. I should probably place my carrot in too. Yeah, that's a good idea. For starters with this plan, I want to get rid of this mob platform that never seemed to work. It was at least worth a try. Sometimes taking a screenshot and drawing your stuff out can make it way easier to do your building. So that's exactly what I did. First off, I want to build a wall going around the outside of this island. Next, I want to build some farmland off to the right side for all that wheat that we don't have yet. And then in the dead center of the island, I want to build our starter house. And maybe off to the left, we can do a little bit more farmland or a sugarcane field. I also really want to build a tower to look over the barren ocean because there's so much to see. Not really. Oh my goodness, there's a sheep over there and I have some wheat on me. We're going to build a tiny little pen right here and follow me, buddy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, follow me. Yep, you see me with the wheat. Um, nope, no, 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 no. This way, this way. I'm going to have to do that and then, and then get his attention again and then just push them right into here. And guys, we have a sheep now. We are moving up in the world. Almost time to sleep though. Sleepy time. And now we're on to day 12. The first part of this plan I think we should work on is the starter house because everything sort of needs to be built around that. Now I could build the whole thing out of jungle wood, but we do have some saplings over here. So if I can just get that, I want that pot to place this sapling down and bone meal it, we can get some spruce wood. I'm going to need more than five logs though. A lot more. So I spent the next few minutes bone mealing single spruce saplings until I got enough to make a two by two spruce tree. With this, I I really only needed to harvest one tree to have enough wood to build this starter house. And the view from the top was amazing. Then I waited a few minutes for all the leaves to decay so I can make sure to get those saplings. And while waiting, I did some fishing since I was pretty much all out of food. I need one other type of wood besides spruce and that would be oak. So let me just bone meal this. It's always so nice when it's not a large tree. I mean, large trees give a lot of wood, but they take so long to mine. Collect all the wood and then try to get some saplings out of it. Oh, we got two saplings and then I can bone meal these and I'm just going to do this for a little while. Like, see what I mean? It's massive. While I wait for the leaves to decay, I need to gather some sand because obviously our house has to have windows and sand makes glass. Rather than grabbing it from the island, I kind of want to come down here and gather it so I don't change the terrain of the surface. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to start. Up, 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 up. 13 should be plenty enough sand. So let's just smelt all of this up and I'm going to eat some food. I'm also going to harvest up one more spruce tree just because I think I'm going to need that extra wood. I also want to take some deep slate and turn it into stairs because I already turned it into bricks and then also some slabs. With that being said, I think I'm ready to start this starter house after I sleep though. Once I got the base of the build complete, I had a really good idea of what I wanted to construct. I want the house to be a little bit on the taller side, but I don't really want it to be two stories. So I stuck with making the roof pitch really, really steep. Besides that, when it came to the blocks I used, I tried to keep it pretty native to the island. So I used spruce on the bottom of the build and then brought in some jungle for the roof and a little bit of deep slate to add some contrast. Because trust me, having too many types of wood planks next to each other can look horrible sometimes. And we have a friend now. Hey there, buddy. Too bad I can't trade with you because I have uh, no emeralds. Also, here's what the house looks like right now. I added in a nice little pathway leading up to it, but it doesn't really go anywhere besides the front door. There's also this big area of grass and I have some bone meal. So I want to see if I can get any flowers. Oh, we got a rose or a poppy, not rose. Can we get anything else? We got another one. Ooh, we got a dandelion. What about over here? More dandelions. And we're also getting a bunch of seeds. I didn't even think about that. You're probably wondering why I wanted the flowers. Well, currently the house does look pretty cool, but it is a little bland. So I'm thinking we can actually go through with some dirt and trap doors and add in a little little bit of color. And then I also gathered some leaves so we can do a little bit of that action. Yeah, I think I like how that looks. Ooh, maybe one or two right here. Mm, maybe just one. And then I also have a little bit of iron left, so I should be able to make some lanterns. 
Do we have any torches? Also got to craft up some torches, turn the iron into nuggets, and make eight lanterns. Put one right there. Let's put one right there. Can I not hang it on an upside down stair? I'll put it right there instead. With the house mostly complete on the outside, it's time to start working on the inside, which isn't super big, but I should be able to get a lot of stuff in here. First off, I want to replace this floor. I mean, the grass really gives it that nature-y look, but it's not what I'm going for. Instead, I'm going to use some stone brick. The floor is looking pretty good. And then for the ceiling, I definitely got to fix this up. So I'm going to add some stairs right here and also right here. And then this part is going to be a little bit expensive, but I'm going to make a ton of jungle trap doors. Hopefully 44 is enough. And of course, now that I think about it, I already have like a full stack in one of my other chests and do something a little bit like this. Back along this wall is where I'm going to do all of my chest because I want to make sure I have plenty of storage. Oh, wrong way. Still the wrong way. Maybe like that. There we go. And I need two more chests. Voila. Voila. That should be plenty enough storage. And then I also got a crafting table that we're just going to put right in the center of the floor. So I can make some stairs, put a plank right there, a stair right there. And I need to do something about this area, but I have a plan. I'm going to lower all of this down and then put the trap doors right there. Storage is settled. So now it's time to start working on the kitchen. And I think I'm going to put a furnace there and there, and then maybe a little bit like that with some slabs in between them, and then put a stair like this and put a lantern right there and then break this block and put a barrel below it for all of our food storage. Next up, I need to figure out a way to get upstairs. And I'm thinking I want to try doing a staircase, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So it would have to be something a little bit like this and then that, and then use some trap doors as a railing. That's looking all right, but I still got to get rid of some trap doors up here. And this will be our second floor, which also is going to need a lot of work. So I'm going to put another crafting table right there and make a ton of slabs. Thinking of doing something like that, maybe. Mm, I feel like we're wasting some space. So instead, I'm going to raise it one block and do this. How would it look if I put trap doors right here? Oh, I fell. That looks pretty good. I don't like this showing though, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then I can grab my bed and put it upstairs right there. Taking a little break from the house, I want to get started on the seawall going around the entire outside of the island. Oh, I fell. Oh, we have an ocelot, but I have no raw fish. I actually have no fish. Okay, besides that, I think I'm going to build the whole wall out of stone, cobblestone, and some stone brick. And also, it's been very scary having these guys directly off the side of my island. Very scary. Okay, let's jump into the seawall after I sleep. Oh my goodness, I was out collecting fish and there's a guy with a trident. Oh my goodness, that was not fun. It looked like it was enchanted too. Give me some food, give me some food. And shut that door. Oh yeah, it is definitely enchanted. Now I wish I had a bow and arrow. Once I jumped straight into this build, I knew I didn't want the wall to be too high. So keeping it a rather short wall, but still completely free of mobs getting over, I wrapped it around the entire island. And it ended up taking a lot more resources than I thought it would, but it does look pretty good and should get the job done. Next up, I need to build our wheat farm. Well, we have carrots too, so it could also be a carrot farm. I was planning on doing it over here, but plans change and I think I'm actually going to do it right about here. So first off, I need to replace all of this sand with dirt like this. And then I need to go through with some water sources and just kind of randomly place them throughout the field. Okay, maybe that's too many. With the water sources in, it's time to till this entire field. Nice. Now, I am not going to have nearly enough seeds to plant this whole thing in, but with the amount we have should be a good start. And after a few harvests, I should be able to fill the entire farmland in. Oh, but it's sleepy time. Well, I kind of lost track, but it's now day 24. Yeah, a lot of days have gone by. While I wait for the wheat to grow in, I want to do a little bit more killing over at the mob farm because I'd like to get a little bit more bone meal and say hi to our sheep. Hi, sheep. Ooh, I wonder how many eggs we have from the little chicken coop. Okay, that's a solid amount. Okay, I first need to fix this and oh my goodness, that's quite loud. Get rid of those blocks. Add two more right there. And then what's the best way to go about this? Gotta put a slab right there and then slowly just start removing these. Oh my goodness. There are so many mobs come from this side and hit them. I hate when there's this many creepers. It's so scary. Oh, okay. A little too close. Can I maybe get a little bit closer just to grab some of this loot? Yeah, I definitely need to figure out a better solution for collecting all the drops because I currently keep having to cover this whole thing up to get back there and then fill it back in. Hey, and we got to good amount of stuff there. Well, I got the bone meal, so I now can bone meal this grass so we can have some tall grass, which always looks good. With that being said, I think we're going to call it here for today's episode. I mean, we got so much done and it's only episode one, so I can't imagine how much we're going to get done in the next few episodes. Oh, and by the way, I'm still doing my other hardcore world, which if you haven't checked that out, 
definitely go check it out. But I decided to do this just to switch it up a little bit. And I've really wanted to do a survival island. Next episode, we definitely need to work on a better food source because the wheat will work, but we have so many chicken eggs. So if we can set up like an auto chicken cooker, that would be amazing. And hopefully we get another sheep or two or even some cows if we're really lucky. Although thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. For those of you guys who are wondering what the seed is, the answer is there really isn't one. This world was custom built on World Painter. So the only way to get it will be through a world download, which I will have up shortly. Although it's only going to be for my YouTube members. So if you want to play along with me, make sure you go become a YouTube member and the world download will be there for your taking.